been rushing through the trim motors only spend a week total in what's considered by a lot of cruisers the paradise of the sailing world and you might be wondering why we have been keeping a secret from you guys and you guys are gonna be really excited as soon as you find out what it's all about you want to go and check it out it includes a little walking uh -huh. a little 5200 <laughs> and a little a little dinghy ride ashore so why don't we do that huh let's close the boat up not that i think it's gonna rain here in tahiti but uh let's close it up anyways right let's go how excited are you i'm super excited super excited yeah good me too are you guys excited yes <laughs> Alright guys, I finally nailed down Russell. This is Russell, the owner of OC Tenders and the maker of our new dinghy. And if you ask him, it's his dinghy. They're all my dinghies. <laughs> They're all my dinghies, man. So, man, I, I just wanted to ask you a couple questions just to give you guys a, a background. We needed a dinghy, obviously. Everybody knows that. We contacted Russ and we said, hey, listen, man, we can't stand the, this portable boat anymore. It's sinking on us. And he's an ex-cruiser. And he, he flew to Tahiti, got hull number two, revamped it for us over the weekend. And he's giving it to us. No questions asked. Doesn't want for it. Just wants to help us out. And uh, man, I cannot thank you enough. Choice, man. It's going to change our, you have no idea. But I know it's hard enough keeping up with your main boat. You don't need problems with your tender the whole time. It's, it's, you can't do it. You can't do your job. So uh, that's basically what, why we sort of stepped up, really. Uh, and also, as you guys know, these guys are the real deal. He fixes all his own stuff on my boat. I'm the only guy that fixes my boat. I'm the only uh, guy that touches my boat, too. Yeah, so that was... Uh, uh, also, that he's, that he's got a high-performance old catamaran. I've got a high-performance old catamaran, so it wasn't very hard for my wife to convince me uh, after I saw the first few clips of these guys. Yeah, they're the real deal. This is the real deal. It's real cruising like it's meant to be. Thanks, brother. So, from a business point of view for me, um, you know, we're a family business. We're a team of six at home. Uh, my wife is my boss, like most guys. <laughs> um, and uh, we've just built a new facility that is capable of doing a bit more um, and we've been growing we've only wanted it to grow organically to see where it's going to take us um, and if we advertise big that's not going to work because we don't want to let guys down so it's about yeah it's about growing slowly and it's about uh, probably putting back to the people where we came from which is basically sailing through here like you are right now so that's it so you, you guys don't make your boats in China. You personally make every single boat that comes out of your shop, right? Or have a hand in? I basically, I used to laminate every boat myself. I used to, and then there was two guys, and then there was three of us, and now there's five of us. I'm the guy that touch, I finish every boat that comes out of that factory. So when, I never want to see those boats again. I want them to be out there being used hard by their owners, and I never want to see them again. So unless the guy rings up and goes, hey Russ, I'm having a great time, here's some photos from some far-flung place, that's what keeps me going. Cool. Uh, that's it. You're an old wind surfer, and that's how you learn how to use composites and work with composites, and you've been doing this your whole life, yeah? Pretty much with a few odd breaks when you get, you know, you, fiberglass is an interesting thing, you love it or you hate it, and uh, so I, I had a career in windsurfing um, as a professional sailor, and then as a professional uh, board builder for other professionals uh, and then I discovered cruising um, so then when my brand new four thousand dollar inflatable started to fall apart on me I'm just like whoa this is the world standard here we are three months in four thousand bucks this is the world standard that I'm going to see in with my wife and I've got to trust my life with it 
So that's why I bought the, I took my composite background and my years of looking at design and then five or seven, went to the seven years to sail around. So I took all the skippers, advice from everyone. Hey, I'm going home to build a hard tender. What do you think? Are you crazy? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> That's what they thought. They're like, Are you crazy? I'm like, Well, mate, for me, this rubber raft is not what I consider to be what I want to go cruising with my cruising boat. We're not a closed shop, we're a totally open shop, which means we take advice from everyone. So I want to hear everything good and bad that you have to say about my five year old thingy that I'm giving to you. Cool. I might say that it is five years old and it has sat in the tropical island sun for five years and the sun does break everything down. However, the hull, the hull, we haven't touched the thing on the hull, have we? Nope. So it's all the little bits, it's the handles and it's all the fluffy bits that we've worked on to make it look presentable again. But basically the hull, it's probably better now than when it was put out of the factory because it's actually cured. So, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm happy where we're going with it. Really brief, briefly, talk about uh, what you were thinking when you designed this boat. Uh, you, you have a lifetime warranty on it, right? Basically on the hull structure, if there's any major issues with the hull, all the little bits that we tie on and the stickers and all that stuff, the sun's going to wreck those over years, but the hull structure, uh, mate, we're pretty confident in how we build boats in New Zealand. And uh, if skippers have an issue, they, they get on the phone, they talk to me. Uh, and I think it's important to say that we don't have, we are direct from me to you. We're direct from me to you. There's no monkey whispers, there's no Oh, I tried to talk to the dealer and he didn't want to know me and I had an issue with this. Call me. Only I talk to me, I talk to you, that's it. That's what cruising should be about. Basically, to build a, a, a high-tech composite structure, there's no money in it. There's no money in it for a retailer and a distributor to the end user. Otherwise, it, just, it wouldn't be economical for anyone. I'm trying to build the best boat for the end user and he's not going to totally bleed for it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, uh, but the, the, the composite stuff, um, all we've done is we've tried to take the best materials, PVC foam sandwich, um, carbon where it's needed, epoxy because I like epoxy, epoxy is strongest out of, out of all the resin, resin groups. Um, so let's start with the best materials, let's start with a guy like me who's been cruising for seven years who had no chance to pick up the tools i had no chance but when i got home i was broken ass i had there was there was no money so basically i when i got home i had to make sure that the design that was right there that i could put onto a computer screen was uh was right on the money the first time because otherwise we, we were we were done even before we started we were done but uh, how it's turned out um, we've now got 200 boats out there. Our skippers are happy. Congratulations, yeah, cheers, bro. Bro. Cheers. Yeah. Our skippers are happy. Um, they are all friends of ours. Um, we're a small group amongst us, a, a larger group of offshore cruising sailors who have seen the light and gone towards uh, hard cruising dinghies. Um, so yeah, mate, good luck, and I hope you uh, really enjoy you enjoy your hard, mate, you've had a hard dinghy, you know what to expect. I just don't want the water to come in. You know, <laughs> if we could just not have the water come in, sure. we'd be right there. Yeah. You know? So what can these guys do and where can they go if they want more information, if they want one of these dinghies? Well, really, you can probably uh, you can go on our website, uh, all the pricing's there. Uh, we, can, we ship stuff everywhere. My neighbour across the road builds the plywood box. He brings it to my workshop. Uh, Corinne will walk you through my wife Corinne, uh, she is in charge of all the shipping uh, out of the pro we ship 70% of our boats overseas um, every year and uh, we haven't had an issue as far as shipping yet, she, she, everything is controlled from our end and it just arrives at your marina uh, or you can pick it up from wherever it is, uh, wherever the ship lands as well. I guess the most important thing, don't talk to me. Contact the guy who's got one and ask him about it. See what he thinks. It's not, mate, not even him, not even him, but there's there's 200 guys around the world now who have got my tenders. Go and see what they have to say. That's it. Mate, don't believe all the marketing. Oh, by the way, there is no marketing. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk to the other guys. Talk to the other, <laughs> talk to the other guys. Talk to the other guys.
You're a cool cat, man. It's Thanks, been, it's mate. It's been a pleasure meeting you and getting to know you. Yeah, mate, it's been an interesting couple of days with these guys. Uh, haven't seen really much of them online. Um, but, yeah, what I see, it's real. These guys, uh, there are different styles of cruising these days. These guys basically are doing it on a very similar boat to mine and uh, doing it on a shoestring budget like we did it. And uh, so that's why we chose to go with uh, the Zangaro crew. Thanks, buddy. Cheers, bro. We can't wait to get it. And I bet you guys can't wait to see it, so let's go. Dude, did you see the shit eating grin on her face? <laughs> 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 yeah. Especially, oh man, I haven't seen her smile in a dinghy for a long time. <laughs> oh, she's zipping, man. She loves it. Let me turn it. That's it. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> this is great. Yes. It's I fun. Love the bumper too. It's fun. Yeah. You feel safe inside it when you're when you're sitting in it. I wish the upward was working, man. But uh, I guess. Three more days, babe. I got the parts coming. Three days. It's so simple, really. Thanks, Russ. Mate, it makes me feel feel proud, eh? Pretty stoked, pretty stoked. So guys, it's a very special night for us. Uh, and it's with a heavy heart that we are finding a new home for Mr. Sinks a lot. That thing is going to our buddy's Katouche because when they lost their rudder, they also lost their dinghy and they saved the boat, monohull boat, mind you. And we're gonna go meet him have a beer with them and give them our old dinghy. Come with me. All right, gentlemen, with this dinghy comes the trophy. <laughs> I give to you. It is now your problem. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. No word there. <laughs> Really appreciating. Thanks yeah. for the, the gift yeah. you have us for sure. For Thanks. sure. Yeah, yeah. Zingaro. Yeah. Now we have the trophy. Yeah. The victory. My advice to you, get rid of that thing as fast as you can and uh, good luck finding another one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What, what the name of the dinghy? Do you have a name? Uh, we called it Sinky. Sinky. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, no reason. <laughs> What's up, guys? So I just wanted to take a second and explain to you about the Katouche brothers and how they lost their dinghy. So they were actually born on this boat that they're sailing around the world on. Their dad had built the boat. I think he bought the hull and then fitted out all the inside, basically build the boat. And it was their dad's dream to sail around the world, but he never went because he had kids and he had to spend all his money on his children. And then when the kids turned 20 and 21, they just took his boat and took off. And they're actually super famous in Brazil. If you'd like to follow their adventures, you can find them right here. So what, what had happened was we were buddy boating from Gambiers all the way through the Tuamotus and we both got hit by this really strong storm. And we heard over the radio, Zingaro, Zingaro, help. We need assistance. 
we lost our rudder, which is a huge deal. That's, you know, a lot of people abandon their boats for that when they're out to sea if they're on a monohull and don't have two rudders. So huge deal. We tried to turn around and help them, but with our little engines, we really couldn't make any headway back. We were way in front of them, like 20 miles in front of them. So they managed to sail their boat without a rudder outside of the two Motus archipelago and then wait out the storm. This was like a three day thing. But during this time, their sea anchor didn't work. If you guys would like to see a video I made on sea anchors, you can just click on this and that'll explain to you how they work and, and what kind of sea anchors you'd want. Anyway, theirs didn't work and they were beam onto the waves for like two days and their dinghy was hanging on the davits on the back and it was just smashing and it was so nice. They had this beautiful new dinghy that just got popped. They had to end up letting it go and it sunk because it was aluminum. And so they didn't have a dinghy, but they had their, their engine. So uh, we offered them ours and they never put their engine on it. They were just paddling it around, but they ended up getting a new dinghy. They ended up getting a new rudder made in Brazil and they're sailing now. So they're back in French Polynesia. Go check them out. They're super cool kids. Okay, back to the video. Oh. <laughs> So guess who we ran into after two years and at least 12,000 miles? Me. The old sea dog. Still alive. Yeah, last time we saw you, it was your birthday. It was, yeah. and we had a few uh, sarsaparillas. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's fun. And this time, again, we're in a bar drinking some beer. Yeah, so nothing changes. Yeah. No. We've been walking around trying to find oars and um, yeah. just different pieces what, for What it was, I said, can I hang out with you guys? So like six hours and 60 miles of walking later, we need a beer, yeah. He was gonna, about ready to shove us off because he thought he, we were just more fans. And I was like, wait a minute, is Barry? And he's yeah. like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is the second time today this has happened. Uh, oh no, wait a minute, it's, it's, it's actually true. <laughs> I, see, I met some really nice pe uh, people that follow my channel here. And, I, and these guys came on, go, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, oh, hang on, I, I gotta get going today. You know, but, no, yeah. it's great. Great to see him again. Yeah, man, you good, good to see, see him, him. Good really good. After picking up our OC tender in Tahiti, we decided to go meet some more friends in the beautiful neighboring island of Morea. Okay, we're here with Voyages of Agape, Rachel and Josh, and we're gonna have a jump off. We've even got the stairs down for this. This is, I mean, I don't even think you guys have even seen this. Leo's the judge. Yes or, yes or no, yes or no. <laughs> I understand that English is your second language, sir, but I don't know how you're gonna judge. You know what, perfect. <laughs> oh, it's, it's nay. 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 You can start us off. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a little bit of sand, you got it. What's the best way? What's the category? It doesn't matter, whatever you want. I'm not gonna give away my secrets. Category? Splash, height. Full Monty. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, Rachel, your turn. Well, I'm not doing the full months. Come on, you have left to take off. It's harder for him. Oh, come on. Weak. Shoot, weak. Give it, everybody gets a yay for the first one. Yay. Do the splash? Kim starts next. Is the, is the height of the splash important? Yes, or? yes, the arc, the height. The categories are pain level, splash, uh, the difficulty of the trick. If you don't do well, you get a nay. Except for your first jump. Yeah. <laughs> Was it a full flush? Yeah, we just get a yay for the first jump. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody gets a yay for okay. the first so. <laughs> You can. <laughs> yay! <laughs> Yay! Pain level! Yay! Yay! I don't want to do it! <laughs> At the same time? Stop bullying people into doing things okay. that you want to do. You go off that way. You go off that way. You go off that way. I got it. But it's going to pay off. All right, guys. I'm not afraid of the jump. Yeah, do it from the jump. Do it from here. Ready? <sighs> Low battery. Oh, no. Oh, no. One, two, three! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Nay, that wasn't a belly flop! Nay! Nay! 
That's it for this week's episode. Thank you for watching, and a huge shout out to OC Tenders. Thank you guys, that dinghy rocks. Next week, we grab some friends and explore the underwater world of Morea. We do some spear fishing, and before we know it, we're surrounded by sharks. Then we get the experience of a lifetime when a baby humpback whale practices his buoyancy in front of us. Please subscribe if you'd like to be notified when we upload new videos. And see you next time on Sailing Zingaro.